Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's Sunday morning, get ready with me. We are going to be using almost a full face of new makeup using items that I picked up during the Borg Door sale. So if you're curious to see what products I picked up during the sale and how I created this look, keep watching. The first thing that we're going to be trying today is the Clay de Peau cushion. So I did pick this up. I picked it up in shade 030. I'm hoping that's a good shade. I really, really am. I go between... 020 and 030 so I'm hoping 030 works but this is how it comes so you do have the case it comes in a really really soft packaging and then here is the case so that's where the foundation will go and there is a really nice mirror on the other side so you have the empty case the foundation comes completely sealed and then you also do get a puff. So I'm going to put this together and then we'll apply it. And it actually snaps in from the front. I thought it would go in from the back, but it doesn't. It snaps in right there in the front. And then when you open it up, it is sealed. So we will remove the seal and that is the cushion. So this is about the equivalent of half of a bottle of foundation. It says it's 0.52 ounces in a regular bottle of foundation is a full ounce. It does have a 24 month shelf life and it is made in Japan. Now I did go ahead and already prime my face. I am using the Sicily Double Tinsure. I'm going to take this brush. This is a natural haired foundation brush and I'm just going to dip it into the cushion and we'll apply it. Okay there's a lot more coverage than I was expecting. A lot more. <laughs> I think the shade is gonna work. I probably could have even got the 20, but this will work. There's no scent, which is good. I'm so used to telling you guys between the like between the La Prairie and the Sicily and everything else, it's like everything has a fragrance. This does not. And so far it's going on beautifully. I'm really, really impressed. I thought it was going to be pretty sheer, but I think it looks really good. And I do feel like the coverage is medium. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit more to see how it builds up. And I really just tapped my brush in lightly this time. I went in pretty aggressively the first time. I wasn't sure how the pickup was going to be. This is the first time I am trying it. I really like it. And I heard from several of you that this new foundation was beautiful and you guys did not steer me wrong. It really, really is. Half of my products from Bergdors have come in and I'm still waiting on a few things. It all came in different shipments. So I've gotten two shipments in so far. I have two more that are on the way that should be here, I think, tomorrow. Um, and then the other stuff is the brand new Chantecaille Holiday, which I know I'm not going to get until the middle of October. But I did go ahead and pick it up at Bergdorf's because I was getting 25% off. So I thought that that was a really, really good deal. All right, so there's that cushion foundation. I really, really like it. I think that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with a new concealer. This is the Live Tinted Hue Skin Serum Concealer. This was gifted. I have been using this now for about a week. Um... I do really like it. It is very full coverage, very, very full coverage, but because it is a serum, it's a little bit on the thinner side, which I think is really, really good for older skin. Sometimes when you have a fuller coverage concealer, they're a little bit thick and they're more drying. This is not, this is not drying at all. And I think it is very, very beautiful. I'm really really impressed this is the first thing that i have tried from this brand so i am definitely curious and interested to try more let me know down below if you guys have tried anything from this brand it went down beautifully on top of that foundation sometimes i get worried when you're using new concealers new foundations are they going to work well together are they going to like disrupt the product underneath and it did not it is really really pretty the next new product is the victoria Beckham contour stick so i picked up shade marble so here's the packaging 
I will say I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not the tortoise packaging like all of her other products because I absolutely love that packaging. All right, so there's marble. And that's what that looks like. So we'll just apply a little and I'll take my brush to blend. We'll see how this blends down. I like it so far. So it blended right down into the skin. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I don't have a new powder, so I'm gonna go in with my Sicily powder. This is the Sicily Loose Powder in shade number two, matte. So I'm just going to take my Le Mer powder brush to apply it. I will say that the foundation is actually pretty radiant. So if you are someone with really oily skin, it may not work for you. It does look very, very radiant. But I put that powder down on top of it and it really, really toned down the radiance. I do not have a new powder bronzer, so I'm gonna go with this Christian Dior. This is shade number five, Warm Bronze. It is in the limited edition packaging, but the actual powder in it itself is not. It's part of the permanent collection. It is just in limited edition packaging. And I think that this bronzer is very, very pretty. I would love to hear from you guys. What did you guys shop during the sale? Did you pick anything up? I wanna know. I did a good mix of makeup and skincare. I would say that I bought more makeup than skincare, but the skincare was more expensive, so it kind of counterbalanced in terms of price. I do not have a new cream blush, so I'm gonna go in with the Clay de Peau. This is shade number four, Peach. It is my favorite, but I also think that it will look really, really good under this Dior blush that I picked up. Now the Dior blush that I picked up is shade 459 Charnel. I thought it looked like a beautiful, beautiful everyday blush. Not too pink, not too bright, just very, very everyday. So I'm gonna pick a little bit up with my brush yeah, that looks beautiful on top of that cream blush. Do have a new highlighter. I did not pick this up at Bergdorf's. I picked it up at Macy's. This is the brand new Clay de Peau Holiday Luminizer. I cannot wait to use it, you guys. The packaging is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So it comes in this beautiful packaging. And then you get this beautiful blue or lavender pouch. And then here is the packaging. Stunning, stunning. And then when you open it up, here is the luminizer. So it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take my Sony G NOG Pro and pick it up. Now they usually are pretty bright, just like that, but they buff down really, really beautifully. So I will go ahead and take my Sonia G Smooth Buffer to then buff. Oh, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. I love these Clay de Peau Luminizers. I think I have like five or six of them. They are definitely some of my favorite. And this packaging this year is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. For eyeshadow, I did pick up a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Christian Louboutin, and this is just a duo. This is the Abracadabra Le Duo in Umbretta Brown. So here is the packaging. It is pretty consistent with his other packaging. And then you do have the Louboutin on the box, or on the bottom. This is the color story. Oh, that feels so creamy. Wow. That formula feels amazing. I do think that it needs a lighter matte shade. So I'm gonna go grab a Chantecaille single, which is a beautiful, beautiful light brown matte. So this is one of the Eye Mermaids. This is shade Sylvie, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful light brown matte. 
and even that might be a little bit too dark and so I'm going to go back into my collection and see what other singles I have for maybe it's just a little bit lighter of a shade. The new Chantecai matte shades. This is Palomino. This is a beautiful, beautiful matte. Oh, I love it. So yeah, that's a lot lighter. I'm going to take my Sonia G Classic Crease and I will pick up that shade to kind of use as a base. I absolutely love the new Chantecai mattes. They are really, really good. And I'm going to take that same brush and go into this, uh, the shimmer shade. And I will start on the outer corner and then blend into the crease. These shadows were so creamy. I really, really liked that formula. Look at that for a one and done. So pretty. I'm gonna take a Sony G blender and I'll go into the darker of the two brown. Now this one is a matte and I will keep this in the outer corner. I'm really, really impressed with this little eye duo. I'll take that classic crease to blend and diffuse. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Gel Eyeliners. These are really, really good. And I'm gonna use black today. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use the MAC Max Stack. I do not have new eyeliner or new mascara, so I'll just go ahead and use these off camera and then we'll be back because I do have a new lipstick. There's the finished eye look. I am absolutely in love. This nude formula from Christian Louboutin is so good. I had previously purchased the six pan eyeshadows. I was not impressed. I did not like it at all. I love the face trios with the blush and the highlighter, but the eyeshadows I was not impressed with at all. But these, but this little duo right here is absolutely beautiful and I'm definitely interested in picking up more shades. Now for our lips, I did pick up a lipstick from La Bouche Rouge. I picked up shade Rosewood and that's what it looks like. It looks like it might be a little bit orange for me. And when I swatched it, it looked really pretty. It did not look orange when I swatched it, but in the bullet, it definitely looks orange. So I am gonna use a lip liner. I'm gonna use the Sicily Lip Liner in shade Beige Natural. Now I believe the Sicily sale is going to start on Thursday, October. We'll see if I'm right, <laughs> but I know it's coming. I got the email, but it didn't have a date, but it should be Thursday, October 5th. All right, so let's go ahead and try this lipstick. All right, so the color is all right. I don't think I'm a fan of the formula though. I had to really apply a lot of lipstick in order to build it up. So I'm not certain about this lipstick, like the formula itself. I just think there are other lipsticks that are better, that are easier to apply, that give you more pigment. I don't know. I wasn't a fan. I love the La Bouche Rouge highlighter. I love the La Bouche Rouge eyeshadows. I was really, really excited to try the lipstick because I have heard so many good things about it, but it just doesn't, it's just not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Here is the finished look of using mostly new makeup that I picked up during the Bergdorf sale. Let me know down below what you guys think. What was your favorite? I want to know. I absolutely love the way everything looks together. I really, really do. The foundation is gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. However, I do think that if you have oily skin, this is not the foundation for you. I do think that next time I use it, I will use a more mattifying primer. I can still see my oil seeping through. So I do think that I need to use a different primer. I Like I said, today I used the Sicily Double Tincture. I think next time I would, go, I would go in with the Tom Ford matte primer or the Hourglass primer. So I'm going to try those next. But as it sits right now, I do think it looks very, very beautiful. I mean, and this eyeshadow is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me know down below what you guys think. I would love to hear. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.